flank attack. You leap through shadows to attack your foe with deadly strikes that hit from behind. I kind of want to go flank attack and then get twin fangs. Or the combo would be like flank and then twin fang from behind to do extra damage from behind. Um, number of hits, 2 damage per hit, 200% weapon damage. Uh, unyielding fangs deal more damage only if you keep your target facing forward toward the blow. If flanking, your twin fangs will keep your target's armor sundered. Ooh, interesting. So yeah, I, I think flanking attacks are becoming more of a, th a thing now, which is good. Because they weren't that big of a deal in the second game. Uh, subterfuges is like uh, sabotage, excuse me. It's just playing, uh, placing traps. Subterfuge, we already have one ability. Misdirection. Easy to miss. Enemies are likely to overlook you in combat. T uh, threat reduction, 25%. Flanking threat reduction by 100%. Interesting. That seems like a really, really good ability to get pretty early on. Because if they don't, like, recognize me from attack from, from behind, that seems pretty dope. And that looks like... Uh, they can't hit what they can't see. Your deceptive fighting style gives you a chance to dodge enemies just taking no damage. So I have a 10% dodge chance. Cool. Or I could. Definitely going with the, uh, flank attack. Active abilities, yep. We only get 8 uh, abilities, which is weird. I think in the first game, they gave you the entire, like, upper hop bar to just place whatever the fuck you wanted. And then in the second game, they limited it down to, like, 9 or 10. And now they're limiting it only to 8. Um, but we didn't have to upgrade attributes. Because I know, I think you could, I think you can put attribute points. Um... Yeah, I remember in the first game, I didn't know what the fuck I was supposed to to do with attribute points. I was like, I guess this? I don't remember if they were in the second game. They might have been. But the third game, it doesn't. And this is behaviors, so... Um, it allows you to manipulate the AI, uh, your AI friends, slightly. But, uh... I don't really want to mess around with that too much right now. We're still in the tutorial section, so... I think it's a little too early for that. Ooh. A morning star. Hold on, guys. This is um, far more important than whatever you're talking about. Uh... Alright. So, she loses 4% attack. And she gains 4% Sunder on hit. Doesn't actually say her attack will go up. Is really 4% the same as gets her up to 66? Huh. Interesting. Ready cause enough trouble without resort. Ah. Here they come. Oh, great. Uh, you're an asshole. You made Got it. it. Chancellor Roderick. This is... I know who she is. It's Cassandra. As Grand Chancellor of the Chancellor... Oh, you're talking about me. I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Uh. Order me? <laughs> you are a glorified clerk. A bureaucrat. Damn. You are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! Must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. And uh, so no one's in charge here. So none of you are actually in charge here. You killed everyone who was in charge. <laughs> Oof. Uh, about that. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we did. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. 
We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. Guys, I'm dying. Please. <laughs> Please stop bickering. I'm dying. How do you think we should proceed? You're asking me? <laughs> you're asking for my opinion? Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own. So yeah, uh, throughout the game, we'll be given like m uh, a decision, pre like the previous games. Um, except we don't, except we uh, also learn, you know, what our decision leads to. So we can either take the mountain path, it's fast but indirect. The soldiers will act as a distraction elsewhere. That problem will be addressed sooner, but there will be casualties. And you can find the people who were lost on the mountainous uh, path. Charge with the soldiers. The careful sustained assault soldiers will stand uh, with you to ensure your to ensure arrival. Scouts in the past may be lost. So it's either do you abandon the the small group of scouts you you should send to die. Um, or do you go save them, but, you know, there may be a casualty down well, these people. And I usually take the mountain path. I... I Use agree. the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. I do usually go to the mountain path, even though I I understand that just abandoning them would be the easier option, but no man left behind and whatnot. <laughs> Come on guys, wasn't that fucking hard of a walk? <laughs> See there are stairs and ladders over here. Okay, it's making this look super harder than it is. Oof. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually gone down for a full frontal assault. I, I think I usually just go up here. I'm not actually climbing this. I thought I had to hold a W. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough. Ah. Good. Uh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. <laughs> not at all. I didn't want to charge headfirst at him. <laughs> uh. Ooh, ooh, I got him in the back. This is unfavorable for me, so... There we go. Yeah, I wanted to just, like, walk in and attack one of the, the wraiths. Ended up getting the greater shade because I am great at targeting. Oh, it's really dark in here. I don't know how well the darkness looks on the recording. Uh, like when this game gets too dark or too light, it, it's fucking like hard to see. Uh, stiletto and a griffin shield. Looks like another weapon for me. For me. Um. I can't, it doesn't actually change our attacking stance, which is bizarre. She actually loses magic defense, so I don't know why I would want, I mean willpower is fine, but like for one extra armor on a character who doesn't need willpower. Uh, that sounds important. That's this way. I think I saw something go over here. I did. Hello. 
ram leather. Alright. I don't know what any of that meant, but we'll get into it, I guess. Like I said, I even though I played this game, I don't think I ever really finished this game. Because there's a lot of... Oh, shit. There's a lot of side quests. Um, what? Did he just, like, stutter over a, a gap? Um, where'd he go? Oh, she pulled him over here? Yeah, I don't think I've really... I think I finished the main storyline of this game before, but I don't think I completed all the quests. Because there's a lot of, like, menial side quests of, like, Hey, did you get all the flowers in this area? It's like, oh god. Yes, we know, soldiers. That cannot be all of them. So the others could be holed up ahead. Our priority must be the breach. Unless we see it soon, no one is safe. I'm leaving that to our Kunari friend. I know when I was testing this as a dwarf, he said our dwarven friend there, so. Or the other dwarf in the party, excuse me. So it's cool that they acknowledge, you know, that there's like tiny lines that acknowledge you as a character. And I don't know how he missed all of that damage. Fucking rude, dude. I can't actually stop attacking. If I get too far into a combo, uh, I can't actually stop attacking. He's just standing here. Lady Cassandra! Lieutenant! You're alive! Um, guys. Ooh, lesser terror. You don't seem to be like the others. And now I dropped down to 30. <laughs> Oof. Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. You got a bit of red on you. Let's hope it works on the big one. Thank the maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... All my ideas work, you know. Closing rifts and saving soldiers. It's what I do. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. Down the ladder. That's the way to the temple. Oh wow, I mean, speed down ladders. I wonder if any, if you can do this in real life because I've seen it like replicated in too many games. Where they're just like, so yeah, if you just do this, you just fucking just slide down super fast. Happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. <laughs> I guess you're talking about more important things than just sliding down the temple of sacred ashes. Uh, ladders. That is where you walked out of the fade, and our soldiers found you. Whoops. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. But we all have a very, very good idea of who she might be. Templar helmet. Restriction. I guess there's there's some armor restrictions. Um, elf, dwarf, or human. So Kunari can't wear helmets because I guess their heads are too large. Because if you're not, if you don't have horns, does that mean you can wear helmets that are fit for humans, elves, or dwarves? Or is it still not a thing if you're 
These are the questions I have to ask. 